And we are back in Jennings, Louisiana for Swamp Stole Eastole, or as I think I'm gonna call it from now on, Swampy Stole. Check out this great shot of the race course here from this Robinson flying wow. over as we get ready for our unlimited class. I, I wanna ask a question. So, uh, unlimited class in, uh, in the real life national stole is literally like run what you brung, anything goes, uh, as long as it's legal, uh, you're seeing very aggressive planes, uh, Steve Henry's Yeehaw, you're seeing Hal Stockman in a, in a Rands that he's, he's built to be super light. Uh, you're seeing Dan Reynolds in the Chinook Valdez special. Well, I'm still waiting for someone to make uh, Steve Henry's plane. Why has no one done that? This calling out to the developers, you guys gotta, someone's gotta make Steve Henry's plane. The, the pilots wanna see it, the fans wanna see it. We need Steve Henry's plane in the sim. We gotta make that happen. Let's go through the lineup. Cat Blue Flame, 2000 Zenith CH701 from Great Britain. Uh, Lucy Radstack is not able to join us, so that position will be open. Uh, NorCali Jolson in the 2023 Savage Carbon Cub from California in the United States. And bringing up the rear of the unlimited class, Amy Cutie in a 2023 Rands S6S. We saw that uh, just a minute ago on camera, and she is from the Netherlands. So that's really exciting to see. We're gonna get this unlimited class kicked off in just a moment. Uh, while we get ready to do that, I wanna talk again about this sponsor. We already talked about SimWorks Studio. Uh, Simwork Studio is an unlimited class sponsor for National East Bowl uh, with an amazing and realistic lineup of aircraft. You can fly iconic aircraft. These are these are truly iconic. The RV-10, the RV-14, uh, the Zenith 701 that you're going to see today. Uh, if you're into larger aircraft, they just released a TC-12. They're high fidelity renditions of these aircraft, uh, and you can uh, step inside, see how incredible it is. Uh, go check out SimWorks Studios, and you're gonna see Cat uh, Blue Flame fly one of these SimWorks Studio aircraft uh, during the unlimited class. I wanted to mention, uh, SWS took uh, a little extra time along with Justin Tisdale, who you probably know very well. Um, yeah. They actually took the time to go through the 701 and give it realism numbers um, based on national stole, historic numbers from real life. So I want to say thanks to SWS for doing that. Um, I mean, they, they offered that up. Uh, as, or, well, they, they uh, took that offer as soon as we asked them to do it. No hesitation. Uh, Justin and I spent countless hours uh, going over the plane. Justin was actually on the run all the time. As you know, he's a busy guy. But, you know, he joined into Discord. I was flying it. I shared my screen with him. And uh, we, we were able to get that 701, um, I mean, just as close as possible to the real world numbers that we saw. Uh, from from the stole competitions that you guys hold in real life, so uh, shout out to SWS uh, who is the sponsor of the unlimited class, and uh, we really really appreciate SWS for doing that, and uh, we're glad to have them here as a sponsor. Yeah, really really cool stuff, and yeah, Justin Tisdale, uh, you want to talk about someone who's got more heart uh, than almost anyone I know, uh, just really passionate, really putting in the work in the national stole circuit to get better and better and better. And we've watched him overcome so much adversity with that aircraft that he's, he's built there. Uh, part of the challenge of building an aircraft is he got a lot of gremlins to get out sometimes and he's been chasing those all last season. Excited to see what he does this season. Uh, the other sponsor I wanted to talk about while we gear up for the unlimited class here is Legend Aircraft. So they were so kind. Uh, this, this is not your grandfather's cub, uh, basically. These, these They were so kind to host us for Lone Star Soul in October. We have a bunch of Legend Aircraft. These are your Moax, the mother of all cubs. Uh, love seeing them. Look at the, <laughs> look at the tail cat there uh, taking off. 
with that tail down in that zenith. She is a wild woman. Next up to the line, Norcali in the Savage. Now, Savage is interesting. They're a aircraft company known, I think, more in the rest of the world than the United States. Uh, I think a lot of people only know them because of their, in the United States, maybe only know them because of their involvement in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, but they are an aircraft brand that um, really puts down a lot of stole aircraft. I've been kind of keeping tabs on them during my pilot career. Here we go now, NorCali. Now, a little note about that uh, plane there. It is equipped with nitrous. So one of the, it actually, I think it's the only plane that's uh, will be seen here today that has nitrous in it. And uh, so real competitive plane on the takeoff. And, and typically you're gonna see uh, people, you know, starting with those flaps down uh, like Steve Henry does in the real life competitions. Um, in, in many cases, starting with those flaps right down, hitting that nitrous and just shooting off into the sky. Look at that beautiful takeoff from Amy Cutie there in the six uh, S6S, the Rams. Uh, let's look at the takeoff numbers. NorCali, uh, it's NorCali J with the 2023 Savage Carbon with the nitrous, uh, I guess virtual nitrous there, 66 feet for the takeoff. Uh, Amy just putting down a great number as well, all the way from the Netherlands, no lag on that connection, 98 feet. And then Cat Blue Flame, very aggressive takeoff, but I think just stuck to the runway a little bit with a takeoff distance of 148. Pro tip for those of you out there that are uh, flying around in the Savage Gravel, um, and you might want to be in this competition someday, and you're just getting into uh, bush or stole flying, turn that nitrous off on landing. Here comes Cat now low over the grass, holding it off, holding it off, holding it. Oh, that's going to be close. It's whoosh, landed short there. I'm not sure if that was a scratch or if it was good. I Waiting think for it word. was good. But I think maybe there was a, just a glitch there where uh, I, I was watching real closely. It looked like it was good, but we'll have to wait for, like you said, the official word from the judges. And we have North Cali J coming in. Uh, he is a longtime bush pilot and scenery creator in the sim. You can check out some of his freeware sceneries uh, to enjoy your bush experience on Microsoft Light Sim Ooh. over on flightfin.to. <laughs> I, I definitely thought that was going to be a scratch. Just holding it off there. That was close. Aircraft calls it Bumblebee. Uh, by the way, Cat Blue Flame, that was a good landing with just 52 feet on that landing for Cat. Combined oh, score of 200. Look at, look at Amy coming in in the slip in the Rans Ooh, S6S. Coming in hot! A little fast, but uh, if she could slow it down a little bit, I think she'd be all right. And I would like to also mention Amy is another freeware scenery creator and she has just released her first payware scenery. So from uh, friend to friend, you guys should check that out and uh, you can get a hold of her on Discord probably and find out where to get that. But uh, really proud of her for releasing her first scenery and it was really cool to see that. Uh, the other day we took the stream out there, did a group flight and went and checked it out. She did a great job. Let's look at the scores now. End of the first run of Unlimited class. First place, NorCali J. The combined score of 137. Cat Blue Flame with the shortest landing, but second place with 200. And Amy Cutie in third place with 265. So it's still kind of anyone's anyone's goal. Now look at that. See, I think what's happening with Cat is she's pulling back a little too soon. The airplane was not ready to fly with that aggressive pullback. Had to get that nose back down, reduce the angle of attack, get some wind over the wings, and then take another pull, another bite, and get it off the air. An improvement, though, for a six from 148 down to 80 feet for the takeoff there. So that's a huge improvement. Yeah, good to see the improvement there. 
So coming from the Burst 6 TV chat, I'm seeing a lot of hype in there from a fellow streamer, Quert. And it's really cool to see some of the other streamers that are out there in support of what we're doing today. So you see the great fish food and Quert and uh, RP Gamerous and probably some others that I have missed, but uh, it's good to see all the support over there and everybody hyping up the chat. I love to see everybody cheering these pilots on. Woo, short one for NorCali. Oh, and it looks like we have a correction here also from the Bursix TV chat. Frankie Poops, the man, the myth, the legend, Poops himself, said, <laughs> that sounded bad. Uh, Frankie Poops said that uh, he's actually flying the carbon, so there is no nitrous in the carbon. Still a very, very good aircraft, but no nitrous in the carbon. So it looks like we don't have the gravel out there today. That was my mistake. Um, I read that livery wrong. Nice short takeoff for Amy as well in the Rands. So, first six, if someone wants to get involved, you mentioned earlier that it's, uh, you know, easy to get involved in Eastol. Uh, what's the first step people can take to try to compete in the next Eastol competition? So the first step that would be uh, probably the easiest step, um, I can share a link to my Discord in my chat, and then I'm sure uh, on National Stole side, you can share a link to the National Stole Discord. I think the best thing to do would be to just join the Discord and uh, you know just communicate with one of the moderators or uh, um, you know one of the pilots in the chat and tell them that hey, I'm ready to do this. Um, it's not scary. It's uh, you know, some people might be a little intimidated, like this This may be, you know, uh, maybe too hard to get into. Um, but, you know, as you can see with uh, Big Papa Polly, I mean, he decided uh, two nights ago at like two o'clock in the morning that he was going to do it. And he got second place today. So if you want to join in, Discord's probably the best way in the flight sim community to reach out to anybody. Um, so in my chat, there is the Discord there. Join that, get a hold of me. I'll hook you up in the right direction. And anybody can join this. Um, and then also, I'm sure National Stole can share their Discord on your guys' YouTube. Yeah, that would be awesome. I might check that out. I'd love to uh, to give it a go. I want to see you in, but you got to promise me. I'll let you do next event. But then the event after that, you gotta you gotta uh, announce for me, and we gotta find someone else, and then you gotta let me compete because I want to compete. Oh, too sure, bad. yeah, I've been yeah, yeah. So bad. But I'll I'll definitely take over the next one, even if I have to do it by myself. I will take it over because I want to see you out there in the skies. That's, that's the funnest part about this for me is watching everybody fly. We have a. A thousand bits from ID5 in the Burstix TV channel. Thank you so much, ID5. That is insane, and you never have to do that, but I appreciate that. ID5, the man, the myth, the legend from Michigan, a fellow Michigander. Nice short landing for North Cali there in the Bumblebee. Looked like it was right on the line. I can't believe I mistook that for the gravel. I should know better than that. It says carbon right on the side. And you had uh, got friends in the chat as well st stating uh, with Frankie Poops that it was the carbon and not the gravel. Um, like I said, I need some better glasses and some better graphics. Ha. Now waiting on Amy Cutie to come over the line and drop in for the second end of the second round of the unlimited class things are tightening up a bit uh cat blue flame now with in first place with 112 nor cali well, j that's... did improve his score down to 122 that's good to see nor cali j is part of the candonians so uh and so is frankie poops actually um, so it's good to see some of the Candonians coming in here and doing well in the competitions um, because you know those boys do a lot of bush flying. That's about the only thing the Candonians can be found doing on any uh, particular day is doing some bush flying. Maybe a scratch. Uh, it's hard for me to tell. Woo! 
I was a little far away. Yeah, I'm going to call it. Yep, that was a called scratch from the uh, race control. So a scratch on the second run for Amy Cutie. And as we get ready for the third run, I would invite everybody. It's going to be so rad. Swamp Stole here in Jennings, just like you're seeing on the screen now. Uh, March. In March this year for National Stole. Definitely worth coming to. Uh, let's see, pull the date up. Right now, March 22nd and 23rd in Jennings, Louisiana. That's Swamp Stole. And then we're headed over to uh, tentatively Oklahoma Stole in May 24th and 25th. And then after that in June up to Clarion, Pennsylvania for Appalachian Mountain Stole June 28th and 29th. Things get real busy over the summer after that. Heading to Red Wing Stole, uh, Sodbusters the weekend before Oshkosh, and then right after Oshkosh, just a week or two after, up in Pinedale, Wyoming, and Rocky Mountain Stole. So a lot to to hang out. That's our, I mean, man, that's almost every month. Almost every month this year once we start in March. Um, so definitely check that out. Come see one of these in person. Uh, would love to have you there. Now, you asked me earlier how to get into this, so let me ask you, if we want to come and maybe meet you and meet some of the pilots and see a real life event, how easy is it to do that? Where do we got to go? What's what's the one place to go to get into some real life stole and where we can find one maybe that's close enough to us or maybe even travel across the country? Yeah, I mean, so the first thing I would do is go to nationalstole.com. We can check in on all of the various events. As the events get closer, what happens on the website is they'll post details for camping, you wanna camp on the airport, hotel information, things like that. Um, and they just come out. You know, the admission is usually uh, pretty affordable and it's a big family friendly event. You, know, you can hang out all day, make sure you bring your sunblock. Uh, <laughs> it's always a thing we tell everybody. Uh, and then you got food and stuff to, you know, there's always food vendors and things like that. Make a whole weekend out of it. You wanna, you wanna learn at home and, and then bring it to National Stole. That it's very approachable and everyone is so welcoming. Look at Justin Tisdale, um, someone who just, you know, came in, the community wrapped their arms around him and here he is now uh, getting ready for his second season. Uh, almost ready to go, by the way, uh, for the Unlimited Class. we got one more round to go. And we uh, were able to help Justin change his flight plan in real life with the simulator. So it's really cool to see those connections. And Justin's a great guy. I appreciate him a lot. And we are under a green flag now here at Swampy Stole. Swampy Stole, uh, I love it. Looks like we got a slightly different order now. We've got Amy ready to go, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so it's gonna just mention as we get ready to go here, uh, we wanna thank, you know, Hat Tip, the Unlimited Class sponsor, Simwork Studio, we talked about them earlier. Uh, we also wanna thank Sim Market again for sponsoring this. Uh, Matt Peterson, the founder of Swamp Stole. I wonder what he would think about seeing Swamp Stole in this virtual environment. That is pretty cool. Hopefully you're watching today. Uh, the Colonel himself, Matt Peterson, kind of brought Swamp Stole to life and would love to see uh, what he thinks about this because it looks pretty accurate. And we also want to give a shout out to Pilot Experience Sim for that beautiful Mall M7 that you're gonna see. And it looks like we've got Cat Blue Flame now turning base to final. I think, hard to tell here, it's either Cat or NorCali. There we go, NorCali on final. You can tell that it's got the uh, tail dragger configuration here, bringing it down below the trees. Number 22. Really hanging it off the prop, I love to see it. Wow. 
Wow, North Cali, what the heck? 40, 41, 42 feet, great job, man. North Cali really showing out there. That's a, that's a beautiful performance. So that's going to slide North Cali into first place, reclaiming it. Did he from really take it? Took the first Total place of spot feet. there. Wow. Grab action for Amy, getting it down almost in the bleachers there, right on the left side of the runway. Get it. trouble getting Cat Blue Flame uh, to show up in the in the uh, sim here so that might be it for the unlimited class which is a bummer for Cat because it would be interesting to see and for us uh, because it would be interesting to see if she could have defended that first place but as of right now let's go to the results for the unlimited class here at Swamp E Stoll. Coming out into first, NorCali J with a combined score of 100 feet. That's a takeoff of 57 feet and a very impressive landing of 43 feet. Cat Blue Flame in second place with two runs only with 112 feet. Uh, bummer that that did not work out getting her in for the third round. And then Amy Cutie in the 2023 Rands S. 6S from the Netherlands in third place with 263 feet combined.